Um, my name is Liz Pierce. I am an objects conservator at the Library of Congress, and I have been deployed here to join with FEMA's program called Save Your Family's Treasures. I'm part of a team of three. One of my teammates is Javier. Uh, we are here providing information to survivors on how to salvage some of their wet materials that may have been damaged in the most recent floods. We have a lot of brochures um, and demonstration materials to show you how you can take care of some of your treasures and give you some tips and tricks. We are part of um, a larger group that are being dispatched to the state fair, to county fairs, and to other DRC locations across the state. So one of the most important things, um, if particularly if you're dealing with flood soaked uh, materials, is you really want to be safe. Uh, we really recommend that everyone uses nitrile gloves to protect themselves because flood water isn't just water. Um, we tend to recommend that you do a three bath system if your material is stable enough to handle it. Um, things like photographs, particularly recent ones, um, that may have been printed since 1960 or so uh, are actually very stable and can be rinsed off. We recommend that people use distilled water because you want the purest water possible to be able to um, rinse any of those contaminants off. The three bath system basically helps you to remove as much of the debris and the contaminants from your surface. And then once you are done, we want to make sure that you are putting them onto a surface that would um, allow for good air circulation. Uh, so something like a sweater dryer works really, really well to create airflow all around of an object so that you don't end up with mold growth after, um, after it's been rinsed. Um, so photographs, some books can be, um, can be rinsed and dried and fanned open. Um, and there are a lot of materials that you can also end up putting in the freezer if you're just overwhelmed with everything right now. So if you want to sort of push pause on the process and come back to it later, there are a lot of materials that you can wrap in freezer paper with freezer tape and come back to it. We do also have a phone number if people would prefer to call and talk to some of our experts. So the National Heritage Responders can be reached at 202-661-8068 and they can help you walk through any process to try and save things. Um, so here we have a couple of photographs that are waterlogged. We're using a plastic screen that you can get at a hardware store just to support them in the baths. So you can go and rinse them off from the dirtiest bath to a middle bath. And then for the final one, it should be basically clean at that point in time. Final rinse. And then we would want to put them somewhere where they can dry with good circulation. You can also hang them on a clothesline if you don't have enough room to lay things out.